we're going to go through the steps of setting up a, a virtual network of Linux computers. So the idea is that we'll use VirtualBox and we'll create Linux virtual machines inside that and we'll create multiple machines configured so that they can talk to each other inside a network. Uh, and we'll do this on Windows and rather than having to manually set up those machines, I've created a base virtual machine which we can clone and use some scripts inside Windows to automatically set up the, the clones of that base machine to set their IP address so that we have uh, one of four different topologies. We assume that you've got uh, VirtualBox installed on your computer. Uh, this is demos running on Windows 8, but it's been tested on Windows 7 and should run on Windows 10 as well. And importantly, you've downloaded the five necessary files you need the base virtual machine, which is downloaded as base.zip. We'll uncompress that. And I'll use 7-zip and extract it here. And as that's uncompressing, the other four files you need are the Windows command scripts, which we'll use to create one of four different topologies. Topology, we'll call it number 1, 3, 5, and 7. There are other topologies, but we'll only need one of these four. So that base uh, virtual machine is uh, uncompressed now and we'll go to VirtualBox and add it as a machine. So we go and find our folder where that uh, was uncompressed to, this base folder, and there should be a file called base.vbox. Open that and that creates a pre-configured Linux virtual machine inside VirtualBox and we'll call it base. Importantly, we won't open this machine. Don't start it. There's no need to start the machine, and you should not. We'll simply make copies of it. We'll clone it in VirtualBox, and we'll start the clones. That allows us to have a standard base machine, and we can make change to the copies, and then we can reset back to the standard base machine when necessary. Rather than cloning it manually inside VirtualBox, we've got uh, one of the four scripts to will do it for us. And the first one, vntopology01.command, is a script that will create a very simple topology with just one node. Let's run it and see what happens. So we double click on that. It gives us some instructions. You're about to clone the base VM. Uh, it's going to use VirtualBox to do it, but not the GUI, but the command line version of VirtualBox. Make sure that there are no existing nodes, it's saying. All right. Currently, I have no VMs called node. We'll see later what that means. Uh, if we do, we'd need to delete them, but I don't. So I'm going to press any key to continue. And what it does is simply clones base to a new VirtualBox machine called Node 1. This is Topology 1. And in Topology 1, there's simply one computer we'll call Node 1. All right, it's been cloned. Let's continue. After we clone it, we want to set it up a little bit so it's uh, renamed to Node 1 inside the, the Linux uh, uh, operating system. To do that, we need to start Node 1. So we'll click on it and start. And that'll open up the VirtualBox uh, window to, to boot that node. It takes a while to boot. And it's running and booting up. And once it's booted, we'll log in, and these uh, Linux machines have been set up such that the username by default is network, and the password is network. And the default password for all the services is also network. Because we're running inside a virtual machine, there's no need to worry about uh, secure passwords, because everyone knows it, and it's only local on your computer. The Linux machine, the base configuration is set up to run a, a Ubuntu Linux server version 16.04 and it's cut down such that it's small in size and it doesn't take much memory to run. We only give it 256 meg of RAM. Uh, it has no graphical user interface. We need to do everything on the command line. So it boots up and once it's booted if it gets there, we'll log in and deploy the node. So once we log in, we're going to run this command, which is sudo bash vertnet bin vn deploy node. 
because we're using topology one and we want to deploy node one, we'll use the two parameters one and one. We need sudo to perform this command as administrator. So let's try it. Log in as user network. Password is also network. You don't see it, but I typed in network and we log in to this node. And now we run this command sudo to run this as administrator. Bash will run a script and the script name is in the directory vertnet bin vn deploy node topology one node one run it it asks for your password network is the password and it says reboot all right just to refresh the configuration so let's reboot and that will reboot the machine and we're done we've set it up we'll see once it's booted we can press any key to continue and that closes the command script and we have a, a virtual network of one Linux machine called Node1. As that's booting again, let's explain what's happening. Importantly, the script clones the base machine. You never need to start the base machine, just clone it. And if you do something in Node1, and you want to refresh the node, then you can simply delete it and clone the base again using the script. And that way everyone has the same setup of the machines by simply cloning the same base machine. This network has one node. It's not very uh, exciting network. It's the simplest we have and we can't communicate with other nodes. So in a moment, what we'll do is we'll uh, remove this node and create another more complicated network with multiple nodes. And for the demo, we'll use topology five. So node one is now started. We can log in. Network, password network. And now we have a Linux computer we can do things on. So we can study computer security on this computer. Uh, we'll not do anything now. We'll just set up the, a different topology. Let's shut this one down, power off, a sudo, and let's explain a different network. While well, that's shutting down, we'll go and have a look at some pictures which, which illustrate the different topologies we have. There are four different topologies provided. What we just did is created topology one, which has a single node, node one. It was set up to have a network interface referred to as ETH1 with an IP address 192.168.1.11. So that's summarized in this picture here. Not a very interesting network. We want more nodes. So let's continue a demo and look at say topology five, which will have three different nodes, node one, node two, node three. They'll be set up with network interfaces and the corresponding IP addresses such that there'll be two subnets. Node one and two will be on one subnet and node two and three on a second subnet. And essentially what we'll have is a client, node one, we can have node three acting as a server and node two as a router. And we can do some more interesting networking things with three nodes. Topology three has three nodes on the same subnet. Topology seven has two subnets but two hosts on subnet one and two hosts on subnet two and a single router. Let's try topology five. So we'll go back to VirtualBox. When we create topology five, what it's going to do is clone the base and create nodes one, two, and three. But before we do that, let's delete node one that we all just created. Remove it. Delete all the files. Don't just select remove only, but delete the disk and the configuration files. And node one's gone. Don't delete the base. Leave that there. Now run our script to create topology five. Double click. Okay, we've deleted the old nodes. Good. Press our key to continue. Good. It clones base to create nodes one, two, and three. And then it gives us instructions similar to before. We have nodes one, two, and three created. Good. We're going to start each node. We'll start node one. It takes a while. 
and when they have all started we will log in with the same username password network network and run our deploy node script noting we're using topology 5 and on the corresponding node number so we can start all of them let's start node 2 and once that gets going we'll start node 3 as well three different windows running so we'll have three different Linux computers all running inside VirtualBox let them boot up And while they're booting, we'll come back to the network and see the uh, configuration that we're going to get. We're doing node uh, topology 5. So essentially what we have, we, what we're going to create is a topology where we have a subnet with these two computers on the same subnet. So node 1. We'll have IP address 192.168.1.11 and node 2 will be have an IP address 192.168.1.1 on the same subnet. But node 2 is also configured to be a router, so there's a second subnet. So node 2 has a second interface, ETH2, and they have an address 192.168.2.1 and node 3 is on that same subnet, .2.21. So what the command script does and the deploy node scripts in the individual nodes is sets up the, the names of the nodes and the IP addresses so that they are automatically set up in this network. Let's have a look, see which ones have started. Node 1 is running, so let's log in. and username network, password network. We needed to configure the node using the sudo bash vertnet bin. It's a bit slow the first time, but once we've done this deploy node on topology 5, this is node 1, it says up the top, node 1. Once we've done it once, we don't have to do that again. It's just to set up the names correctly. And we can reboot that one. And let's do it on node 2. Password network. sudo bash vertnet bin vm deploy node. Topology 5, node 2. Make sure it's set up correctly. And node 1 is booting, and we should have node 3 as well. Password network. And sudo bash vertnet bin vm deploy node. Topology 5, node 3 this one, and let's reboot node 2. It can be a bit slow to start them, but once they're up and running, essentially everything's very fast when we're using the command line. It's just the booting that may take slow when we're booting multiple machines at the same time. and we'll reboot node 3 and log into node 1 which is already rebooted network network and while nodes 2 and 3 are booting let's have a look at node 1 one of the commands that we'll uh, use to look at the configuration is ifconfig to look at the configuration of the network interfaces and we said in our picture node 1 has interface ETH1 
So let's look at the configuration of ETH1. I have config ETH1 on node 1 and it shows us some details about that interface. Of importance to us is the internet address or the IP address. And we see it's 192.168.1.11. So the IP address has been set up for uh, creating our internal uh, Linux network. It's internal to VirtualBox. These nodes can talk to each other all inside VirtualBox. And once node 2 is booted, we'll see that it has an interface. We'll log in. Node 2 is our router, and it's been set up to be a router, and it has two interfaces. Let's look at ETH1, which has 192.168.1.1 as an IP address. It also has ETH2, 192.168.2.1. So it has two different interfaces on separate subnets. And node 3 is running. Let's have a look. I have config EDH1 192.168.2.21. Just to check that everything's working, we can try and communicate between node 1 to node 3, and it should go via node 2. Let's ping. 192.168.2.21, which is from node 1, where we're running the ping command, destination is node 3. And we run that, and we see pings running, and it's giving us a response, and it's giving us some uh, round trip time to communicate via the virtual network from node 1 to node 2 to node 3. In subsequent tasks, you'll use this virtual network to look at networking and security issues.